total body photography is when we use a camera or some sort of set device to take a, a full record of a person's skin. And the whole process of doing that is based around the fact that like malignant lesions, melanomas and other skin cancers are either going to be new or they're going to be changing. That's just what cancer is. So uh, when we take a set of images, um, when we have a patient in for a skin check years down the track, we can use total body photography to help us as far as picking apart what lesions are new and what lesions have changed. And if a lesion looks kind of suspicious to us, we can go back and look at previous images and say, look, was this there previously? did it look the same? And there's some good evidence behind total body photography used in that way that will tell us that people who have total body photography performed generally will run into melanomas that are thinner when they're diagnosed, which is really important. And on the other side of that coin, they're also less likely to have something cut off their skin, which um, just turns out to be normal and a bit of a false alarm. So they can sort of save themselves sort of scars and needles and procedural costs of that type as well. So. Total body photography generally is recommended in people who are sort of higher risk as far as skin cancer goes. So uh, within Australia, from the top of that spectrum, you've got people that have run into melanoma before, uh, people that have run into lots of non-melanoma skin cancers before, uh, and also people with a family history, the same thing. Uh, also on that list are people who have lots and lots of moles, so it makes it very difficult for us to keep track of things. So images come in really, really handy there. Within Australia, particularly where I work within Queensland, um, the majority of patients sort of 40 years and above um, will generally have a lifetime risk of melanoma that's uh, well and truly above what's normal. And uh, it's something that I do discuss with essentially all of my patients 40 years and older, whether they want to have sort of a baseline set of images on their, of their skin sort of as part of their medical record, because it can help us with diagnosis, both in finding things early, but also in trying to avoid doing procedures when they're actually not necessary. And it can help us do that uh, with the reassurance of previous imaging. The process of getting total body photography is quite simple. Simple. Either you'll have pre-booked it before your skin check or it's something we'll discuss within a skin check and that at my clinic is booked in as sort of a separate 15-20 uh, minute appointment where you're taken in by the technician and there's a, a 50 megapixel camera on a little conveyor belt and we use a set of sort of standardized poses so we can reproduce those images if we need to and so when they're stored on the system we know exactly where everything is on those images. So the whole process is sort of uh, removing down to underwear or whatever you're comfortable wearing and those sort of poses are struck, the images are taken and then they're stored. Um, they're stored securely on the cloud, it's not something that can be accessed externally. Uh, and then from there, that's something that we will have available to us during your skin checks in the future, sort of um, hovering above you as we do the skin check in order to refer to your skin, refer to them and pick apart what we think is concerning and what's not. Total body photography, certainly in my practice, is becoming something that the more and more I use total body photography, particularly baseline images, the more and more I'm rec recommending them to patients and the broader uh, I, I'm using it because patients who are high risk, we can think about it as a way to help us pick up melanoma early. But even in patients who aren't high risks, uh, I do find that we can use it to avoid unnecessary procedures when they're not required. Uh, so it's something that I do discuss with all of my patients above sort of 40 years of age and uh, perhaps sort of 10 or 20 years ago where systems like this uh, were more difficult to execute. It was perfectly standard and normal uh, to do your skin check without imaging uh, because that's what we had available to us at the time. But certainly moving into the future, I think it is likely that um, doing total body photography with imaging will become more standard within skin cancer clinics. And, for someone who gets their skin checked regularly, um, that is the most important part of it. Uh, but adding on something like imaging just means that we can be a little bit more accurate moving forward and both find cancers and melanomas earlier whilst avoiding sort of unnecessary needles and scars along the way.